Hi everyone, it's Mark from Orange Rocket again. Uh, today I want to talk about brand defence. So this is something that we as marketers um, talk about quite a bit uh, when it comes to a sort of a PPC type strategy. But um, what I want to intend by these videos is more to just talk generally about building a brand on Amazon UK and looking at um, the various stages of marketing and how we structure it rather than getting into the technical details of the types of campaigns that we would run. But essentially what um, we as marketers look at is something called funnel marketing when we often refer to the top of the funnel, the mid of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel. And the reason it's shaped like this is because there are a lot more people at the top of the funnel than there are in the middle and then again there's fewer at the bottom. And what that means is that someone at the bottom of the funnel is very close to buying, very high purchase intent as we call it. So these are the people that are, if I use my analogy of a, um, of a dog bed or, or example rather of a dog bed, then these are the people that are typing in your brand name, these are the people that are typing, typing in your exact product. These are probably people that are typing in um, products for dogs. Um, you know, something for a dog to sleep on, that kind of thing. They're not necessarily looking for a dog bed. They might be looking for a crate. They might be looking for a blanket, but they're looking for something they're considering. They get, they've got a dog, they want something. And then here, we're just talking about people that are generally maybe even thinking about getting a dog or generally aware um, that they've got a dog and they're not really thinking about um, uh, buying a bed but if they came across an advert for a bed they might think oh that's something I might get my dog so they might be aware and there's obviously a lot more people at the top so one of the first things that we do as marketers is that we defend our brand which means that when someone types in um, my brand name or what I'm selling or some, a keyword that I'm particularly um, relevant for then I don't want other advertisers um, stealing those sales because they're the very highest intent they're the ones that convert the highest so fewer traffic but very high conversion rate so if I give you an example of that let's look at this one so this is a brand called Bedshaw um, just picked it at random and I type in the brand name um, you know maybe I've come across the brand um, Bedshaw before because I've seen an advert or become aware of them and look how good a job they are doing you know bed sure this is here at sponsored ad sorry sponsored brand position at the top um, this is an ad from them this is an ad from them uh, that's not um, then they've got some organic positions three four organic positions then we've got even got a video ad and then we've got one two three four organic positions we've got two more organic positions there's a couple of competitors there um, and that's all from them. But look what, look what a fabulous job they're doing of defending their brand. So anyone looking for Bedshaw, um, you know, if they're looking on a mobile, then they'll obviously see fewer than this. But you can see that they're doing a really cracking job of um, defending their brand and making sure that when someone is actually intending to buy this product, they're not actually going to see many competitors. Um, now, if we go to this one, and sorry if this is your brand, but um, I just sort of picked this one also at random. So it's Joy Elf, which is another brand that, that sells dog beds. And I type that in, and what do I get up here? I get a competitor. I get a competitor, actually happens to be Pet Shaw. I get a competitor in position two, position three, position four. Okay, I get an organic position and an organic position. So I get four organics but I get a competitor in the video ad. Um, I get another organic and I get competitors. So a very common tactic us as marketers do is try and steal um, other competitors' ads by, other competitors' um, sales rather, by placing ads whenever someone is actually looking for um, that brand's product. So I would be bidding on the word Joy Elf. Now obviously if the brand was bidding um, on Joy Elf itself, then it's going to likely get that ad placement because it's deemed more relevant and the cost per click is likely to be lower, so it's more than certain going to get that ad position if it's bidding on it. But it's not bidding on sponsored brands, it's not bidding on its own brand name here, 
It's not bidding on it on a sponsored ad, brand video ad. So that's how you lose sales and lose market share by not um, targeting your own brand name. And various tests have been done um, when you don't, you know, when you don't um, bid on your own brand name, how you can lose market share. And there's some really interesting statistics going on now. I hope that helps. So if you are thinking of um, uh, launching on Amazon UK and looking at growing a brand, then make brand events part of your core strategy. Thanks very much for listening. Speak to you again soon. Take care.